In this video, you will learn how to make a simple terrain shader in Godot that displays one texture on the top and a different texture on the sides. It works by looking at the steepness of the terrain in order to determine if there should be stone or grass. Let's get into it. Here I have a sample terrain that I made in Blender. Also, I have textures for grass and stone, as well as a stone normal map. The first step is to create a shader material that will house the shader. If you're using a .blend file for your mesh, you need to re-import it and set the material to Use External, and select the material you just created. Then add a visual shader into the material. Now the fun starts. Add in the stone texture, then the grass texture, and plug them into a Vector3 mix. Plug that into the albedo, and you can see that the stone and the grass are being mixed evenly. The goal is to mix them based on the steepness of the terrain, however, the data to do this isn't in the fragment shader. Instead, we'll have to import it over from the vertex side. Click on the fragment tab and switch to vertex. To briefly explain what we're doing, the vertex shader deals with the actual geometry of the mesh, and the fragment shader deals with the color and texture. Because we need information about the geometry, we have to import it over from the vertex to the fragment. If you don't know much about vertex and fragment shaders, I recommend doing some research. It sounds complicated, but Godot makes this really easy. On the top, click on Manage Varyings, then Add Varying. Make sure it's set to Vector3 and call it Normal, then Create. Through this varying is how we will import the geometry information. The exact information we want is the normal, which essentially is the direction a face is pointing in a 3D space. This is how we will find the steepness. If you don't know what a normal is, I strongly suggest you look into it. Anyways, just add a normal node and plug it into a varying setter node, and set it to the varying we just created. This is all we have to do in the vertex shader. So, move back to the fragment. Add a varying getter, and set it to our varying normal. Then click on the little arrow. This will give us a red, green, and blue. The way Godot works is it treats colors the same as vectors. So, this is really just the x, y, and z of the normal. We are only interested in the y because that is the vertical dimension. This will be a value between negative 1 and positive 1. Positive if the terrain is facing upwards and negative when downward, just like the ceiling of this cave. Now, our mix node can only take a value between 0 and 1, so we will run it through a clamp. Now we can see the results. I like to attach an add and a multiply node before the clamp to give us more control over where the stone and the grass shows up. The add node will determine the steepness threshold. A higher value removes stone, and a lower value adds more stone. I like negative 0.2. The multiply determines how sharply the two textures will mix. The higher it is, the sharper. I use 2 for the value. We can go a bit further and add a normal map to the stone. Load it into a texture 2D node, then add a vector 3 mix just like before. Plug the texture into the A slot and the clamp output into the weight. The B should be the normal map of the grass, but since I don't have one, I'll just set it to 0.5.5.5, since these are the values for a completely flat normal map. Finally, plug the mix into the normal map, and there you can see it. You may have realized that we can use this clamp output for more than just the albedo and the normal map. What if we wanted the stone to be shiny and the grass to be rough? Well, it's very easy. Add a float mix and plug the clamp output into the weight. The A value is the stone, and the B is the grass. Set the stone to a low number, and the grass to 1. You can do this with literally all the values, essentially creating two shaders in one. Now that's all for the tutorial, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a like if you learned something, and thanks for watching.